Ulick, I appreciate you having us on site here today. Looks like there's a lot going on. Yeah, you're welcome, Bruce. Yeah, we've got uh, approximately a 10,000 square foot addition onto an existing building. Uh, our scope of work for this job includes the light gauge metal roof trusses, sheeting the roof. We have all of the interior framing, which is also metal framing inside here. We've got a fair bit of work in progress right now. Okay. I see they've got some metal stud framing and things taking place inside. Are those things that we can kind of take a look at the progress? Sure. Yeah. We'd be more than happy to have you come on inside and take a look. Okay. This is uh, Matt and Bill. These are our crew here for doing these, this interior build out work. Uh, they've been inside here for the last couple days. We've taken the blueprint, we've laid out all of our walls, we've transferred our wall lines up to the ceiling here, lasered them up, we've installed our top track, we've come back through bottom track, we've started laying out our door openings, window openings, you know, a lot of what we're building down here, there's, there's classrooms, there's some office space, there's some common area. So these guys, as you can see, they've got the majority of their layout done. We've come through with more or less the generic framing. We stuffed our studs, openings, framed them in, and now that we have the majority of that work done, we're going to focus in on some of the more detailed areas of the build out. Uh, we've got some radius walls that we're building here. Billy will talk us through the process of how we're going to put this thing together. So with a radius wall, it's a little more complicated than just a standard wall. They've, they've come out with this stuff. It's called flexibility track. It's a lot easier to work with than cutting up regular track. This actually bends and then it's got little tabs right here that you can actually hammer down and it locks it in place so you have your radius established. And then you just, you beat it together on the floor and then all you have to do is, is shoot up a couple points on the floor after you strike your radius and, it, and then just attach your top track to the, to the top of the structure. Okay, so to get to the point of laying out the radius, does that something that's specified on the print and how do you yeah, pick your points? Yeah, all of our dimensions come from the print. Most of them are from center of wall. So when you're laying out a radius, you kind of got to do some research and you find the center of your radius and then they give you a point of which they want the, the arc to be. So you just find your, your rear point and then hold your tape there and strike your radius on the floor. Okay, so once you've get that on the floor, how do you transfer that for the, up towards the ceiling? Well, you need a, a point laser. It just shoots one single dot up to the ceiling. And you got, you've got to get a point like every, say, foot. Oh, okay. And you just, you laser, it takes time. You got to get, you go one point at a time to make sure it's all plumb and, and accurate. Okay, so that way being, a that kind of ensures everything will match to move right. along the way. Yeah, lasers have come a long way and they, they help us out a lot. Okay, great. Is this something you're set to do now? Yep. So we've got our radius here laid out. And now how we transfer the marks from the floor up to the deck is we use this, it's called a point laser. When you turn it on, there's a line that, that shoots straight down. You can see on the floor there. Okay. And that line transfers straight up. So we put that right on our mark on the floor. And that's how we know we're perfectly plumb right on the ceiling. Okay. Now you're dealing with a couple different conditions here. You've got the beam and the deck, two different right. heights. Which isn't ideal, but we've, uh, we've got some lookouts coming down from the concrete deck to match the same height as the steel elevation. So that way when we put the track up there, it's all going to be at the same height. Okay. But we could also still run our drywall all the way to the ceiling so we still keep our fire rating. Okay, we'll let you keep going. <laughs> So now we've got our track all set and all the tabs are beaten down, so we're ready to set it up into place now. Now you look, I noticed on this job, everything's pretty much stud framing. I assume there's a reason for that. Yeah, uh, we have life safety issues with this type of a project. Uh, the metal framing, you know, meets and or exceeds any of the UL ratings that we have to achieve for this type of a project. Uh, you know, we have to make sure our head of wall details 
fire safing, smoke is a big issue in a building like this. Okay, and in those two, it lends itself to a little bit more friendly for the other trades and stuff coming in place. Yeah, for sure. I mean, your metal stud is obviously a lot straighter than a standard wood stud. Uh, it works well for this type of application. There are punch outs in the studs that help the electrician and some of the other trades work around those areas. And you know, pretty much it's the, it's the product to use for a build out of this type. Hmm. Everything pretty much has its application. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I appreciate taking the time. Everything looks straight here. Thank you. Yeah, listen, you're more than welcome. Thanks for coming out. <laughs>